it's Corey. It's a new year and I'm going to be talking to you about my new year resolutions for 2023. Now, these aren't my personal resolutions that I'm doing. These are specific to my channel and my music playing. And if you're looking for any idea of where to start with some of these, because my goals might not match up with a beginner player, check out the video I did last week, which are five habits to start incorporating into your playing. Those are very beginner and low effort that you can incorporate right away and start really already increasing on your skills. The ones I picked for myself are, I would say a little bit more to the advanced level and are specific to my channel. So hopefully you find them interesting or helpful or, or maybe just enlightening of what I have planned for the channel this year. So let's just get into it. I wanna hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm at a little over 80K right now. I know that's for some people not a very big channel, but for me, I. I never thought I would have that many subscribers or have people that cared enough to hit a subscribe button to tune in for my like little ukulele videos. Separate goal for myself this year is I'm trying to like do a second channel that's like my nerdy things. And I actually made the channel a year ago, but because of like just being busy and stuff, I haven't had any videos up on it. I have like a lot of imposter syndrome, honestly, when it comes to the other channel. And when I think back to it, I did the exact same thing with this channel too. So I'm working on it, trying to get it out there. If you're interested at all, it's called Taverns and Tomes. There's no videos up there as of now. I have like a few that are done, ready to go, but just like, Blech. It's nerve wracking to put yourself out there on the internet. That's all I can say. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to hit 100K if possible. One way that I hope to do that is by engaging more with Instagram. It's not a platform that I'm super comfortable with and I want to maybe get into the TikTok space as well. I just have to figure out how to make that work for me. Another thing I would really like to work on is getting into more advanced content. I'm at that point where I also want to challenge myself and so part of me doing that, I think I'm just going to start putting more advanced content out there, more picking pattern stuff. I have some songs that I wanna be able to play this year and share with you. So that either you can play them or just also to have like a recording of myself to keep myself accountable to actually increasing my skills too. And part of me trying to be a better musician also means I really want to expand my instrument repertoire. I have been trying so hard multiple times to really get into guitar playing and I was doing pretty well in the fall. I was taking classes. I got really busy in the winter and I hadn't picked up, I haven't picked up the guitar since. So this year I'm gonna make it my year for guitar. I have a couple songs that I want to be able to play and I really just want to be able to pick up a guitar and play it with the confidence that I do with ukulele. That is a big goal for me this year. As I get more comfortable with it, I'd like to start making some beginner guitar tutorials too because I know that there are people that watch my videos that are actually guitar players, but they watch so they can have the lyrics and the chords and stuff. They just play the guitar version of those chords. I'm also trying to look at getting into sharing more of the other music things I do on this channel. They wouldn't necessarily be education based, but I do like to write songs and I write music and I think it'd be cool to be able to share that with you guys. I don't know if anyone will like it, but you know, I think a big way in which I hold myself accountable musically is on this channel. You know, I really think of it as a reciprocation thing. I try to keep you guys accountable for developing your music skills more and I kind of rely on your guy, you guys to help keep me accountable too in a way. And I, I have some things that I've been working on that I would like maybe like to share. So that's a hot maybe, but me just like setting that intention I think will be really helpful for myself going into this new year. And then the last big goal that I have is actually a specific song that I want to be able to play on the ukulele. One of my favorite animated movies is Howl's Moving Castle. I love the book as well. And I really want to learn how to play the merry-go-round of life, the theme from Howl's Moving Castle. I know for myself, it will be tricky because picking um, melodies and stuff is not something that I'm particularly good at. With right hand 
stuff, that's really hard for me. Like I work really hard to do simple licks and that frustrates me and I wanna work on it and I wanna feel more confident about my plane and a big way that I am going to try to do that is like every couple months I want to pick out a song that I work on and I know I'm gonna have to start slow. Anything I create in regards to that song I will put up on my Patreon. So that's that. Those are the things I'm working on this year. This is definitely a video that is like way less scripted than I normally do. So you know, that's, that's me, that's my situation. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.